It was the custom of the Arabs that after a child was born, they sent him out to the countryside to live along with the Bedouins and learn from their manners, etiquettes, and especially acquire the eloquence that was a trademark of the Bedouin life. And in order to get a strong upbringing away from the polluted environment of the city. And according to this custom, Prophet Muhammad was sent to the dwellings of the Bedouin and the woman who took him and gained the virtue of becoming his foster mother was Halima as Saadiyya. Halima, who was from the clan of Banu Saad. She herself narrates the story of how she got Prophet Muhammad into her lap. She says that we were a group of women who came in Mecca searching for new newborn babies so as to we can get them and uh, suckle them and, 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 and earn something. And she says that I came with my husband and we spread out in Mecca and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, a young baby, whenever he was presented to any of these foster mothers, any of these women, they rejected him. When they saw that he had no father and he was orphaned, they rejected him because they were looking at someone who had a rich father so that they could earn something, they could earn a good amount of money from his father. <clears throat> but Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, whenever he was presented to any of these uh, women, they did not take him. As for Halima as Saadiya, she says that when we were returning, each of us who had come in order to take the newborn babies, each of us got a suckling, each of, us got, uh, each of us got a baby in order to suckle. As for me, I couldn't find one. So I said to my husband that why should I not take that baby Muhammad? Because I did not like to go back empty handed. So she went to his mother Amina and requested her to hand over the young baby Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And she herself narrates that as soon as she had taken the baby into her arms, she found her chest to be full of milk. She found the she camel that was lean and weak and dried out. When her husband went to milk that she camel, it was full of milk. The donkey upon which she had come, that was slow and lame, became the fastest donkey in the caravan. And when they reached their dwellings, they found that Allah had opened for them the doors of blessings with regards to wealth, with regards to family, animals. They found that blessings were pouring down upon them from the heavens. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu remained with Halima, his foster mother, in the Bedouin environment, in the country environment, for up to two years. After two years had passed, Halima as Saadiya, she came and requested Amina, the mother of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to allow him to remain for some more time with them. And this request was granted and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went back along with uh, Halima and stayed with them and his foster brothers and sisters into the dwellings of the Bedouin. And over here an incident took place that was in fact a precursor to the greatness of this child. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will choose him for one of the greatest responsibilities ever. An incident took place which has been recorded in the books of hadith that when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a young boy of around four or five years of age, when he was out with his foster brothers and sisters, Angel Jibreel, Angel Jibreel came down and laid the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the ground, he opened up his chest, took out the heart and extracted a clot saying that this is the clot and part of the Satan. And then he washed his heart in a gold basin with the water of Zamzam and he joined his chest back. This was a miracle by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pointing that this is a special child and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is preparing him since his childhood, though he is in the care of his foster mother and receiving an upbringing, but 
even a greater training, a greater upbringing is taking place under the special care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it was a miracle by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in which the heart of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was a young boy then, was cleaned, purified, and the dirt and the part of shaitan, the part of Satan was removed and it was sealed back. After this event, Halima as she returned him to his mother Amina, and then onwards Prophet Muhammad sallallahu came under the most compassionate care of his mother Amina bint Wahab.